The university's Jacobs Building is their new flagship building and it was designed and built really to support two ideas. One, that they needed to recruit the best and brightest students uh, in the Commonwealth and beyond, but also to recruit and retain the top faculty uh, to come and teach those students uh, on campus. And I think uh, we've, we've achieved that in the Jacobs Building. Early on in the project, the Dean actually authored a mission statement for the building that really, I think for us, served as the roadmap for a lot of the decision making that we made throughout the course of the design. And one of the big themes that came out of that was his notion of science on display. And we took that somewhat literally and loaded the building with transparency. So there's, there's multiple ways that we accomplish that. The outside of the building has, is over 40% glass, allowing you to kind of see from the outside into the building. Uh, the inside of the building, the labs themselves, have glass and transparency that you can actually see the activities of the different labs, the different instrumentation that's, that's occurring uh, in the building. And then we also, volumetrically, the building is very transparent. So there's, there's multiple overlooks and balconies that, that connect all of the three floors together uh, throughout the building, really kind of unifying it spatially as one building. The organic labs are also uh, 180 degrees from what they have in the existing building today. Uh, the existing building has a very limited line of sight. It's hard to, for the TA and the instructor to see what's happening in the lab. And the model here at the Jacobs Building is very unique in where the fume hoods line the, the perimeter of the room, allowing the instructor to see every pair of students at the hoods as they're working on their lab. Our design efforts were not limited to just the building itself and the interior of the building. We actually took a lot of the themes uh, for our design and actually carried them outside into the landscape of the project. Uh, you'll notice in the sort of the central courtyard uh, interior uh, to the building, uh, there's two large stone walls uh, with some seating benches scattered around them. And those are actually two outdoor classrooms uh, that can be used by the faculty. The university set up a uh, hashtag uh, for Twitter, and it was it was very reassuring to actually look at some of the posts that the students were listing on the opening week of classes. And the the one that I always remember was very short and sweet, and it just said, "The Jacobs Building is awesome." And I think you know, looking back at all the uh, goals that we had for the building and, and inspiring students, that one really kind of says it all. The the biggest sort of takeaway I have and, and point of pride that I have is understanding just how many students this building affects and how many students it will affect for the years to come and, and you know what the benefit will be to the Commonwealth, the, the number of STEM majors that will graduate through this building is, is almost incalculable. To know that I had a little piece of that uh, is, is very endearing to me.